Some of the jokes from last night given by that former Daily Show writer, well, they're not safe for family-friendly TV. You won't be seeing some of them here. And while many say the personal jabs at White House Press Secretary Sarah Sanders crossed the line of even bad taste, here's a sample of what we can play for you. I actually really like Sarah. I think she's very resourceful. Like, she burns facts, and then she uses that ash to create a perfect smoky eye. Like, maybe she's born with it. Maybe it's lies. It's probably lies. Matt Schlapp, chairman of the American Conservative Union, was there last night, at least for part of right. the performance, uh, and then not there for the rest of it. We knew it'd be rough. Uh, it's always rough. Here's how the White House Correspondents' Dinner works. When the Democrats have the White House, they make fun of Republicans. And when Republicans have the White House, they make fun of Republicans. So you know that's how it's going to go. And obviously the president, who doesn't want to, uh, you know, he's saying it like it is. He knows they all hate him. And he said, why would I hang around in a room with people who hate me? He put Sarah Sanders up there on the dais. It's really never happened before. This is really a unique moment for this dinner. And this comedian and the people who ran the dinner took the opportunity to really shame her publicly, to bully her, to have comedy without any humor. And they made their political points. And I think it really set the cause back. If their cause was to make the American people think that there is a real need to have a free press that's fair, they ruined uh, that goal. Let, let's look at this purely from the political standpoint uh, of winners and losers rather than the taste standpoint. This is what Reince Priebus last night had to say on the red carpet. Take a listen. I hate to say it, but he's playing the media like a fiddle, like he always does, and he's doing his thing tonight. I'm, I think he's doing a great job by getting out and talking to the people. Washington's a rough town. Everybody's here. You have to have thick skin. Um, uh, if I know Sarah Sanders, uh, anything about her, she does have thick skin. Yes. Just watch her, watch her on the podium. Uh, it would be hard to figure out a way that politically uh, the president and his supporters didn't have a really great night last night. And the media and the Democrats and sort of that liberal cause didn't serve themselves so well. Yeah, the American people are pretty centrist people. And sometimes they'll vote Democrat, sometimes they'll vote Republican for president. But they're not radical. And when they see the radical intent of the people in that room and the, and the, and the jokes that were told and the fact that they gave awards out to people who covered the dossier story, when the dossier I story is a canard. Seconds, so I want to I want to get it, this question in. We look forward to the midterms. That's where this is right. going to really matter. How do Republicans, A, capitalize on this and B, not screw it up? Well, we're going to capitalize on it because we're going to get this, we're going to keep pushing this agenda. And I think when the, once again, when the American people see what the left is all about, they don't want any part of it. And I think that's what's going to happen in the midterm when you see these generic ballot numbers and you see these other races. It's going to start improving and Republicans need to take a breath. Don't worry. We're on a good path. We appreciate you being here. Uh, for more thoughts, we can check you out on Twitter, at Match, at Match Up. There's a lot more commentary from last night if you're interested. Thanks for being here, my friend. It's all G-rated. Uh, as well it should be. Your wife would approve.